Because now that it's written into law that mocking Brendan Sharp is a public benefit, who am I to not benefit the public and trash his love life? Yeah! Now, Brendan's life has always been this tragic comedy that I've kind of kept up with for years because it's this book that just kind of won't stop writing itself. And recently, pages were dropped. And quite literally by Ronda Rousey. Now, during Brendan Sharp's UFC days while he was acquiring CTE, Brendan was dating Ronda Rousey, who was just blowing up. And this made Brendan very jealous. So jealous, in fact, that he would hide. Uh, my... by... I... By mind games, I mean, maybe going M.I.A. Oh no, he called it M.I.A. And he would hide so he wouldn't be referred to as Ronda Rousey's boyfriend. And thanks to this, he is now called Brendan C.T.E. Sharp. Oh, I mean, the community calls him a lot of things. Joe Rogan's Make-A-Wish Kid, that's one. But let's kind of just cut to him reacting to this. Apparently, you're in her new memoir. Again? She, yeah, she, I'll just show you this article you in the here. First one? I don't know. This is what Ronda Rousey would actually call a mind game. This is Brendan playing mind games. Did Ronda ever think, uh, maybe Brendan wasn't... The smartest tool in the shed. <laughs> sharpest. You know, sharpest. Sharpest. Sharpest tool. What I say. But then again, Ronda, you also might not be the brightest. 13 when years that, ago? When Travis knocked him out at the end of the first round, I didn't think... Uh, TKO, to be fair. Yeah, that was true. That's true. Uh, that was ground and pound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> first lie. Keep going. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think it'd get any more gratifying. Uh, my ex covered up on the ground while Travis pounded away on him. The referee waved the match over. Then Travis towering over the crumpled semi-conscious body no, of my ex. It wasn't unconscious oh, and my. also wasn't crumpled. I was in <laughs> downward dog, okay? <laughs> you were on your tummy. You were on your tummy. It was yep. it was a dominant position. You were dominated by the by the, by the the bearded Viking. No, hold on, but no one's saying that. No. <laughs> I was not okay. crumpled and semi-conscious. Nope, nope. Yeah, I was he, fully he conscious. He leaned down and whispered something in his ear. His words were indiscernible to the camera, but I swore... I swear I could hear Travis's voice saying, Rhonda says, fuck you. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> Rhonda! <laughs> um, that never happened. For just watching Brendan Sharp read out, <laughs> crumpled, semi-conscious body of my ex. Like, <laughs> and then Brendan Sharp's going, I was conscious while taking those shots. It's like... Mate, you've not been conscious since. What are you on about? And, he has and he's mixed too, isn't he? He's uh, his dad's a, a NASCAR rocket scientist. The guy who matches up best with Canelo Alvarez, who I think is the pound for pound greatest fighter walking this planet, out of Guadalajara, Mexico, is Canelo Alvarez. I'll say, I'll say. I'll, you, let, you, hey, can I speak on this? Yes. Do you yeah. mind? Yeah. Um, I'll say this: if um, if I wrote a, this is the difference. If I wrote a book. She would not be in my book. Like that. Like that's not a. Uh, that's not like a an event in my life that I would put in a book. And Brendan, this is very book worthy because what people forget is that was his last fight in the UFC. Your ex's new boyfriend beat you down in front of your ex. Joe Rogan saw this and thought, "Man, I'm gonna have to talk him into quitting." And then it got written up in an autobiography, more or less, or some book. Dude, you can't write this stuff, dude. Brendan's life is... Mwah. <laughs> now, that's relationship one. And since then, I'm just going to say it. I think he got a trophy wife. Because if you ask me, I don't think you'd be exposed by your ex-co-worker playing voicemails of you cheating on your wife if you were in love. That is a controversial take, I know. I don't think... You would try and walk your friend's ex to your drug if you were in love. And then try and sue him and threaten him for exposing you. Now, how do I quickly explain Brendan's wife to you? She's kind of this sort of Kim Kardashian wannabe. Made her own clothing line. Has allegedly been seen with many athletes. <laughs> allegedly, Brendan, don't sue me. Now, some of the drama around her is kind of weird. People claim she was, like, showing up her friend's small engagement ring. But I think that one is a little bit of a stretch. But I do like this one. Funeral fit. My grandma would want me to flex on my family just a tad. Because this is kind of weird. It's an emotional moment of someone's passing. It's meant to be, you know, a mature moment. You know? 
the family coming together to mourn, and that's what he says. But look, I don't know if it's a joke, because it has no punchline, but as we know from Brendan Sharp's specials, Brendan loves a joke with no punchline. But also, how can you flex when you're one of the most humiliated comedians online? That's also like a... Can you answer me that, Brendan? You know, why not flex that time your wife had a miscarriage and she posted it on Instagram while you, moments later, posted a photo of you in the hot tub with the boys. Dicey, dicey, dude. Flex that. Why not flex how you lied <laughs> about selling tickets? Say, so, oh, I sold out all the shows, but I'm gonna have to cancel to watch my son's baseball game. I gave up millions to watch my little six-year-old play baseball. Even though the millions would have probably helped him out more. Dicey dicey, Brendan, why not flex that? Flex how you uh, lied about the reason why you cancelled your European show, which was because it sold no tickets, Brendan. Flex that, Brendan. You got, I had a vein popping out for a moment. Fucking hell, Brendan. You bring up a worst than me. Cause you know what else is dicey dicey, Brendan? This accusation I felt, and now here's the thing, right? When going on a deep dive on Brendan's relationships, or just Brendan Sharp in general, you'll go on a Reddit post and below it, people will be like, oh, it's nothing. Do you remember the time Brendan did this? <laughs> but what got, caught my attention is this accusation of Brendan messaging underage girls. Now, if this comes from a profile, that is seemingly normal. It doesn't seem like a troll account. I'm not going to speak much on it because there is no proof, and it, but it does seem weird. So I thought I would mention it because you know what? It wouldn't be the first time a comedian did this. Bleh. Your podcast buddy, cough cough. What really got me making this video was his wife's recent Instagram story. And people did review this, but they missed something. Something important. Now look, there are two stories. I'm going to go with her story. Because she hasn't been punched in the face a thousand times. So, you know, and Brendan, he contradicts himself the moment he starts talking about the whole thing. I pull up, it's my turn to order my drink. And I roll the window down. I order our drinks, but the, the work truck in front of me, I guess work trucks are a little wider. They're like a wider load. So um, he didn't give himself enough space or room to be able to turn like the corner and go into like the little hallway where you pick up your drinks from Starbucks. So he starts backing up. And in 2024, I want to say most cars have rear view cameras. However, this guy got really close to my car. I'm talking inches like inches from hitting my car so i did a courtesy like honk i said beep i said like hey i'm here so my window's down i see the guy get out of the car out of the work truck and he starts coming towards me mind you tiger sits in the front and boston sits behind me so we see this guy coming and he starts shouting at me like horribly bitch you know um what are you doing honking at me and then he comes to my car and hits slams the hood of my car and at this point tiger's scared you know he's like well, what is this guy doing i told the guy i said back up i said if you get any closer i will run you over i said you are scaring my kids you need to back up and he goes who do you think you're talking to blah 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 he goes i will fuck you up when he said that it clicked in my mind that my husband was on his way to give me and his kids a kiss before sending us off to summer camp. And so I said, oh, okay. I said, you really want to do this? I said, that's, that's how you feel? And he goes, yes, bitch, I will fuck you up. And so I'm like, all right. And as I grab my drink and the guy has just turned, I'm trying to be right behind him in case Brent doesn't know what car it is or who I was talking about. I grab my drink and I speed up. Next thing you know, I hear like screeching tires. And I'm like, oh shit, that's definitely gonna be Bren. So this guy is trying to um, get out of the driveway of like the gas station onto Ventura and Ventura Boulevard. And he, Bren comes and intersects him in the middle of Ventura Boulevard. So this guy has no idea what's going on. He thinks he's God Almighty calling me a bitch, saying he's gonna fuck me up, saying all these hurtful and horrible things to me and thinking, oh, cool, I just get to leave now. 
Brent intersects him. So then now I come behind. So we basically sandwiched him in between like Brent's truck and my car. And out of nowhere, I see Bren get out of the car, like out of his truck with like a death stare in his eye. Like he, all he saw was red. He was so upset. He slams the door and he tries to like open the passenger door of this guy's work truck and it's locked. And he starts like yelling, open the fucking window, you know, and this guy looks over and he doesn't know what just hit him, right? So then I come and he's like, roll the window down. And he rolls the window down and Bren just starts going off. He's like, how are you going to talk? This is my wife. He's like, what did you say? What did you tell her just now? He goes, oh, I didn't say anything. So then here I come and I'm like, really? You didn't say anything? You didn't just tell me in front of my kids two seconds ago that you were going to fuck me up? Did you not say that? I said, or are you too scared now that I called my little husband who is not so little and he's here and I told you he was gonna you up. I said, now you don't have the balls to say what you told me in my face. The sheer terror in this guy's face, I've never seen it. I Listen, I'm not for violence, but the, um, the happiness I felt to see this guy literally shit his pants and like be on the like crying on the verge of crying shaking didn't like he didn't know what hit him was the most gratifying thing that i have ever experienced now this is a great story of brendan going full oj simpson levels of cte and his wife was loving it like <laughs> damn and you know what else she probably actually did a lot more wrong than she's leading on but here is what people missed for her dude <laughs> oh, she was like, I've never been so turned on. There I was like, go. that's what it took? <laughs> that's what it took to turn you on? <laughs> it took OJ Simpson energy to do it? What a slip of a tongue, Brendan. That's what it took to turn you on? Oh, what a slip of a tongue, Brendan. <laughs> I don't know why I enjoy this so much. Just the idea that he's been struggling to turn on his wife. And he's like... What's it gonna take? What's it gonna take? And finally he found it and on the podcast he was like, That's what it took! <laughs> oh, it just makes me laugh. <laughs> I wonder why you've been struggling to turn on your wife, Brendan. <laughs> What's for flirting? Not working. Can you grab us your glasses too? You haven't tried yeah. the tiger thing. Thank no. you. No. It came it's out. mass production. What's well, coming out? When we speak of protégés, if you want a protégé, you watch Benavidez on Showtime. Ready for this? This is a protégé. That would be a protégé. Aaron Pico would prodigy, be a protégé. Prod yeah, prod prodigy. Well, you're just not saying the words right. <laughs> I just wonder what it is, Brendan. Like, did she not enjoy Gringo Puppy, where you called her annoying and insulted her? Was it for cheating? Oh, no, Brendan. Was it, was it for cheating? I mean, this might all be kind of harsh, but... Right, because Brendan's kids might actually click on this video. They're going to click on one of the videos, and that is probably something that terrifies Brendan to his core. Like, oh no, they're going to find out the truth. But, like, I have no sympathy for someone who betrays those he claims to love. Like, you stand for nothing at that point. Your love is worthless. Like, what, what does anything mean at that point? I just don't understand it. And not just that, for Brendan Shubb, the only way the people who love you will love you is if you lie about who you really are like your wife won't love you if she knows all about all the cheating your kid will probably be like wow that's how you treated mum and oh my goodness <laughs> that's how you you hired someone in your fan base who was disabled and fired him on christmas <laughs> he's gonna find it all out brendan i'm sorry that people couldn't love you for the true you man maybe you should have been a better person now look, I don't know everything about Brendan Sharp's relationship. So if you know anything, put it in the comments. Please. Please. Because <laughs> I'm going to read it. And one day when I redo this video, I'm going to bring it up. So please do like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And because I make your beer. I make the beer you drink.